How's it going everybody? This is Will Robson here and this is the first video installment on my How to Draw Comics The Robson Way series where we're going to learn how to draw comics. Uh, you can check out my work at facebook.com forward slash Robson Inc or you can uh, download these pages on my DeviantArt which will be at robsoninc.deviantart.com Now, let's get started with lesson one. Uh, the lesson one I made, and the reason I'm making this is because I've seen so many people talk about I can't draw or I've read so many books um, and I still don't know what I'm doing. Everything seems so complicated. So I'm going to try and make this the most easiest way of thinking about how to draw possible. And uh, the first lesson, a couple of lessons actually are going to be pretty boring because it's the basics. But you need to do these basics in order to do anything. So I'll get into that. So lesson one today is going to be form. Okay. Now, forms are forms, as in uh, these things here, which are objects, square cylinders, spheres, and cones. Um, and why we're drawing these forms is so that we can eventually create things like faces, or bodies, or buildings, or cats and dogs, or anything you can think of. You need to know how to draw these basic shapes and the combination of these basic shapes to be able to draw anything. Now, you might think this is super boring, and it is boring because I found it extremely boring, but I filled up at least five sketch pads of drawing all of these shapes in varying different positions until I eventually got comfortable drawing these shapes in any uh, perspective, which led me to be able to draw uh, anything else I wanted to draw in perspective. Because if you can draw these in any shape, you can pretty much draw anything else in any shape. Okay? So... Uh, lesson one is form, creating the illusion of a 3D object on a 2D surface. Now, what I mean by that is when we are drawing, we are usually, uh, or actually we are always going to be drawing on something that is flat. Now, we're not working with clay. With clay, you know, we can mold, uh, and like we can mold together a cylinder and show someone a cylinder and they can pick up that cylinder and look at it and that is a 3D object. We uh, do not have that luxury. We have to create these 3D objects on a 2D surface. And the reason uh, we do this is because the more you can create objects in 3D, the more you can convince the uh, person looking at your work that there is something occupying that space. So if you want to draw Spider-Man web-slinging through the city, you're going to have to know how to draw um, a body in perspective and how to, to know how to draw the shapes that create the body and the, his webbing and so on and so forth. So remember, everything you draw must appear three-dimensional because if it doesn't, your work will start to look flat. And flat work is generally what you maybe subconsciously do when you look at your work. You're like, that eye doesn't look very right. That's because it's not three-dimensional or it's not in correct proportion with the rest of the body. Okay? So this is lesson one, folks. So let's go to the objects here. So first we've got a square. And we're not just drawing flat squares because that is flat. What we're doing is we're drawing the square in three dimensions. Now, when you are thinking about form, you have to think roughly about perspective. And essentially, this is in perspective like this, which means that these lines will eventually meet over here. And that's the perspective. So instantly, you can kind of see here, I could add more squares onto here and follow those shapes and eventually yeah, I've got a cityscape and stuff like that. So squares uh, will be used for buildings, uh, heads, um, torsos, uh, anything that has flat surfaces essentially because this square can also be turned into sort of a polygon shape. Uh, I don't know what I'm drawing here, they look like skateboard ramps or something like that but essentially anything that's got like flat surfaces on them are squares. <clears throat> These are cylinders, okay? This is what we'll use to end up drawing um, our arms, our legs, um, tubes, uh, millions of things, okay? Cylinders are super important, and I would honestly say if you want to practice stuff the most, it's going to be these two. And what you should do is you should start filling up full sketch pads with this stuff. Spheres, obviously, are circles, um, and not just um, a circle like this, because that would be like a flat object, which you can then create a cylinder with. A sphere is supposed to be, you know, like a baseball or... You know what a sphere is. I don't need to. Why am I explaining spheres? That's silly. Okay, and then cones, uh, essentially all uh, triangles, you can call them as well. But cones are basically like cylinders, except um, they sort of come to a point eventually. Okay? Um, so, basically, you should 
practice drawing all of these objects in varying perspectives at all times. Even if you're just s sitting and doodling, I know I do this all the time, I sketch uh, drawing these objects constantly. Okay, uh, So the combination of all these objects can create anything, and this is so true. So this square here, plus this cylinder, plus this circle, plus this cone, can eventually equal the sort of building blocks to building a face, where if you look here at his nose, it's a cone combined with a square to create that shape where sort of they're going up to a point uh, but they have flat surfaces on them uh, and then obviously an eye is a sphere and then the head is a combination of um, a cylinder and then you break it down with sides on it as well because these are the sides and that will create planes so obviously you add the, the shading in there and there's another plane here actually I should probably just do this on this over here so see how this I have this square here that means that this is a flat side of the head but it's not just a flat side of the head because this will also round out as in there's a bit of a circle here we'll get to that stuff later that's what the I guess the more complicated stuff but basically these are just broken down into simple shapes and then once you get comfortable um, and you sort of you can see these shapes you'll be able to put all these shapes together to build a body now this is I don't draw my figures like this because I'm just trying to break it down into looking like building blocks so when you're drawing don't think about this but um, this helps later with shading you see how I've got like these squares here let's say the lighting was coming from over here then we can essentially break down where the lighting needs to go but that comes much later uh, so the better you are at drawing these objects in any perspective the better you will be at figuring out how to draw anything so you should take a look at any object you see and try and break it down into those simple shapes so I'm just going to speed up the video now while I'm going to draw things like I suppose a lampshade, chair and what's another simple object uh, let me look around my room uh, a, mo a TV screen okay so let's just do that Okay, so I just drew essentially four objects um, that I saw around my room. There were other objects I was trying to draw, like my um, lamp and all types of things, but they were just a bit too complicated to show with a marker. So essentially what I've done is I've looked at my television monitor and I've broken it down into its simple shapes. So essentially it's a square and then it sort of has an indent so it goes into another square uh, and then it sort of has a rounded cylinder curve shape to it. This is like essentially drawing a circle here. Um, see how these wrap around it, um, but just cutting it off. Um, and then I saw a, ca uh, a candle, obviously the flame was not lit. Um, I don't even know if you can tell it's a candle. That's just one big cylinder with cylinders inside of it. Tissue box, uh, this here is the tissue. Even though I'm drawing essentially what will be drapery, which we'll cover later on, <coughs> this, this object is still a 3D object, because if we zoomed in, it would have, you know, thickness to it and that's essentially just a thin bendy square and then I've got another thing here which has a cone of the pencil tip to it and then the rest of the pencil so just look around your room for inspiration I know this is super boring stuff but I feel like a lot of people because I know I did it for a while just skip this step completely in drawing and just think like oh there's no flash to what I'm drawing right now you know this this is boring stuff I, I know I can draw a cone and all this stuff but I bet you you can't because I still struggle with it today I still can't draw these things perfectly from what you saw I had to redo things over and over again which means is the reason why I still practice it every day okay so this is the first lesson which is form just keep drawing these over and over again in multitudes of different perspective just think about the planes that they're on um, and keep practicing it okay thanks very much tune in for the next lesson bye bye